What are we going to read today? Listen or read along with Miss Dupont. Find some place cozy and let's dive into one of our books in our collection that are January themed. Rabbit Snow Dance, as told by James and Joseph Brucknack, illustrated by Jeff Newman. Rabbit Snow Dance, a traditional Iroquois story. Iroquois was an, a Native American tribe. Long ago, they say rabbit did not look the way rabbits do today. Back then, rabbit had a very long, beautiful tail. But even though his tail was long, his patience was short. Whenever rabbit wanted something, he would chant, I want it, I want it, I want it right now. One day, rabbit was wishing it would snow. Why? With feet so big that they were like snowshoes, Rabbit could hop right on top of the snow and reach much higher into the trees for tasty leaves and buds. The only problem was that it was summertime, and as everyone knows, it's not supposed to snow in the summer. Rabbit, though, was impatient. I want snow, he said. I want it, I want it, I want it right now. Rabbit knew a special song to make it snow. In the winter, he would sing that song and dance in a circle, playing his drum, and it would snow every time. He had never tried it in the summer because that was not the right season for a snow song. But Rabbit did not want to wait. He ran, ran through the forest to get his drum, chanting, I will make it snow, a zikkanapu. I will make it snow, a zikkanapu. A zikanapu, that word meant it will snow foot wrappers, great big flakes of snow. So when the other animals heard Rabbit singing, some of them got worried. Chipmunk and Squirrel tried to stop him. It is much, it is too soon for snow, they said. We haven't finished gathering enough nuts for the winter. But Rabbit ran right past them and kept on chanting. I will make it snow, a zikana poo. I will make it snow, a zikana poo. Beaver and Turtle looked up from their pond as Rabbit ran by. I haven't finished my dam, Beaver complained. I am not ready to go to sleep for the winter, Turtle said. But Rabbit ran past them too, still chanting. Other animals heard Rabbit, but they did not believe him. That will never happen, Moose rumbled. Making it snow in the summer is almost as hard as stopping the sun from coming up, Bear growled. Soon, Rabbit reached his home. He took out his drum and began to sing his snow song as he danced in a circle. E-o, thump, thump, e-o, thump, thump, yo, 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 yo. Small flakes of snow began to fall from the sky. That made Rabbit happy, but there was not enough snow yet for him to reach the tender buds in the branches above him. A little snow is good, Rabbit said. More snow is better. E-o, thump, thump, e-o, thump, thump, yo, 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 yo. All of the forest animals saw the snow falling. The ones with big white feet like lynx an otter and grouse were pleased. They liked the snow and enjoyed playing in it. They even sang along. E-o, thump, thump, e-o, thump, thump, yo, 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 yo. Other animals were not pleased. They were small and the deep snow was now over their heads. Rabbit did not notice their troubles. He just kept on singing. E-o, thump, thump, e-o, thump, thump, yo, 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 yo. Now, the snow was so deep that it came up to the chests of the bigger animals. They all rushed for shelter. Soon, Rabbit was able to reach those tender buds on the trees. But he was not satisfied. If a lot of snow is good, then a lot more snow would be better, he thought. So he kept on singing. All of the animals had left to find shelter, but Rabbit was too foolish to stop. He just kept on singing and dancing and playing his drum. 
When the snow had gotten so deep that it covered the tops of all but one of the tallest trees, Rabbit realized he was tired. He stopped singing. I think I need to take a nap, he said. He hopped into the top of the one tall tree that still stuck out above the snow and fell asleep. Rabbit slept all night. Even when dawn came, he kept on sleeping. Now the summer sun began to shine. All of that snow began to melt. It melted down below the tops of the trees. It melted down below the middle of the trees. It melted down below the bushes. It melted down below the grass. Soon all the snow was gone. The other animals were happy. They came out again and began to do all the things animals do in the summer. Rabbit, though, was still asleep high, high up in the top of the tallest tree. Finally, near the end of the day, he woke up. Time to hop around on all my snow, Rabbit said. He had not yet wiped the sleep from his eyes. He didn't see that the snow was gone. So when he stepped from the top of the tree, he got a big surprise. Rabbit fell, and as he fell, that long tail of his caught on one branch after another. Each time, a little bit was pulled off. Finally, kaboom, Rabbit hit the ground. His tail felt funny. He turned back to check on it. Check it. He saw that almost all of that long tail was gone. He looked up. Pieces of his tail were stuck on the tips of the tree branches. Ever since then, at the time of the year when the snow gets away, goes away, you can see those little furry pieces of rabbit's tail stuck on certain trees. Some call them pussy willows, but those are those who know about rabbit snow dance know what they really are. To this day, rabbit has a short tail, and even though he still loves the snow, he has learned to be more patient. He no longer sits, sings his snow song into the summer in the summertime. However, during the colder months, if you keep an open ear toward the forest, you may just hear a small voice singing this song. E yo thump thump e yo thump thump yo 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 yo. When you hear that, you'd better head for home. Soon it will begin to snow. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Join us again on the Mandy Troy Storytime Channel. We have more January themed books to read. This was a really funny take on a traditional Native American fable. A fable is a short story that tells a lesson. Were you able to figure out the lesson in this story? What did Rabbit learn that he needed to have more of? Share a great book!